The already imploding and splintering India Alliance bloc has had another big eruption and this one hits the Congress party where it hurts. Mamta Banerjee, Chief Minister of Bengal and Supremo of the Trinamool Congress has now come out all guns blazing, uncensored, unrelenting and attacked none other than Rahul Gandhi and the Congress party. Remember, Rahul Gandhi's Bharat Jodo Nyay Yatra is still currently in West Bengal, the state that Mamta Banerjee is chief minister of. On the back of this, the Bengal chief minister has called Rahul Gandhi a migratory bird, a rude way of calling him someone who just flutters in when there are elections, only indulging in photo shoots, another phrase that she used to attack Rahul Gandhi. This was in specific reference to a video of the Congress MP meeting BD workers in Bengal's Murshidabad. Mamta Banerjee has also challenged the Congress to fight against the BJP in Varanasi, declaring that the Congress would not win even 40 out of the 300 seats it fights. She has also accused the Congress of being arrogant. It is not clear just yet, even though relations between the two parties have been in a relentless freefall over the last few days, it is not known for certain what the immediate trigger has been for Mamta Banerjee's very, very violent outburst directed personally at Rahul Gandhi. हिम्मत कोड़ी बोली लौटते जिदी पड़े बीजेपी के क्यों बंगला पड़े तीनों मूल कांग्रेस पड़े और आम्रा ही पड़ी समस्त रीजनल पार्टी के वो इक्को बंद दो कोड़े एक जगह है दालते कांग्रेस तुम्ही तो एका पार बे ना तुम्ही चोलनिष्ठा सीट पावे कि ना आम्रा जानी ना शारा भार तीन छोड़ा सीट लोडे आस्तुम I don't know what to do, but I don't know what to do. 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 Rejected. I don't know what to do. And I want to get a comment in from the Congress party. Pradeep Bhattacharya, Congress MP, is with me live for more on this. Mr. Bhattacharya, how would you react to the... Uh, you know, the words used by Mamta Banerjee to attack Rahul Gandhi, sir. She's called him her migratory bird. She says that he, uh, you know, he is uh, here for a photo shoot. A person who cannot go to a chai shop is sitting with BD workers. What is your reply, sir? My reply is very simple. We have been knowing it very clearly, not now, for a long, long time, that she is a very jealous. She practically afraid of seeing the huge crowd who were standing on the road just to see Rahul Gandhi and to give him a warm ovation. She thought it very clearly that she is only the popular lady and the political leader in West Bengal, but now it has been proved she has been challenged and challenged brutally and it has been proved this clearly that Rahul Gandhi's popularity is much more higher than anybody else in, in, in India. That's why she is so much jealous. And she said that in Bidi Mosdu, she had, uh, he has gone there. That is nothing, photo shoot. That is not the photo shoot. Rahul Gandhi is always uh, has a habit of going to the common people and uh, have a talk with them. In the fisherman, he had a talk with the workers. Pr Pradeepda, Pradeepda, it, it, what was the immediate trigger for this? You know, we understand that we understand that there is hostility between the two parties. We understand that. But over the last few days, there has been quite a bit of restraint being shown, look, including look, by the look, PCC chief, Adir Ranjan Chaudhary. There has been restraint. I, I, what is I, the immediate let, trigger? Let, let, let me explain you very simple, simple way. In the West Bengal, you could not see such a huge corruption, such a huge corruption, unlimited corruption mm. ever. So everybody will criticize it. Even you will be surprised to know the Tinamul leaders, when they were talking to us, they criticized this thing vehemently, and they said that is unfortunate, that corruption has 
gun in two days. So Bhamta Banerjee failed to stop that corruption. So when we will criticize this thing, he's the, he's the annoyed. What we can do? We have nothing to do with this. We shall have to oppose this thing. So what is the next step, sir? Is this a point of no return? Is there no possibility of any I, I kind of peace know. now? I don't know, because you, you can recall this thing when Pranab Mukherjee's name came as the president of India, uh, his name. So Mamta Banerjee first, she opposed this thing, but lastly she said that, that no, I will support Pranab Mukherjee. Hmm. So she can change her mind any day, any moment, any, any second. So don't, you would not be surprised to know what she will do tomorrow. But what but happens to, moment, Pr Pradeepda, what happens to the India Alliance, sir? I, I mean, Congress and Trinamool are two big, two big parts of the India I, Alliance. I, I tell you very frankly, at this moment, there is no chance to have any adjustment at this moment. But tomorrow, what will you do? I do not know. Okay, okay. Pradeep Bhattacharya, thank you for taking my questions and speaking to us here on India Today. Pradeep Bhattacharya, Congress MP says uh, he doesn't see a way out of this. It's the end of the road. What happens tomorrow will need to be seen. But he says Vamta Banerjee is jealous. Very big counter-attack by the Congress party. And that wasn't just a spokesperson. That was a Congress member of parliament like Rahul Gandhi saying that Mamta Banerjee is saying these things. She's attacking Rahul Gandhi, mocking Rahul Gandhi because she's jealous after she's seen the crowds that have been emerging to welcome and listen to Rahul Gandhi at his various stops along the Bharat Jodo Nyai Yatra. I want to bring in Anirban Roy, my colleague uh, from Kolkata, in on this as well. Uh, Anirban, you've just heard Pradeep Datta of the Congress party saying Mamta Banerjee is jealous. Now, we do know that the, the state unit of the Congress has a very different relationship with Mamta, uh, you know, compared to the so-called high command and Rahul Gandhi. And that is where all this trouble has actually started. But, but I am still going to try and ask, what has triggered Mamta Banerjee this time? You know, was it really, uh, you know, the Bharat Jodo Nyaya Yatra itself? Did someone from the Congress uh, in Bengal say something that she heard that has made her, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, take things to the next level in this manner, Anirban? Uh, we'll see, uh, Shiv, that uh, today the Mamta Banerjee is uh, considering one dharna manch over uh, in the Red Road of Kolkata as she, uh, as already is, it is expected that today is the last day of uh, uh, Rahul Gandhi's Bharat Joro Yatra uh, in West Bengal, Bengal and yeah. after that uh, there is a jive between Adi Ranjan Chaudhary as well as uh, with CM Mamta Banerjee, with mm. Bengal CM Mamta Banerjee and both of them has had a uh, jive uh, over, over the period of time and after that we have seen that many things Adi Ranjan Chaudhary has said uh, against Mamta Banerjee as well as Mamta Banerjee also mocks. Literally today, uh, Mamta Banerjee has mocked Rahul Gandhi uh, regarding the photo shoot, like uh, he is having photo shoot with the Biri uh, Walas. And yes. uh, also, uh, he said, he also said, uh, she also said that go and win in Varanasi, go and win in Ahlabad, go and win in Rajasthan, go and win in UP where you have no seats, where you have uh, no power over there. So why in Bengal and considering Bengal as a state that you can win? So Mamta Banerjee has taken a dig on okay. uh, Congress party I want, overall, to, I want to try and, and understand she, this a little better. Anirban, yes, you put that into context for us. Let me bring in uh, India Today's uh, Rajdeep Sardesai and Preeti in on this. Rajdeep, uh, you know, there was some shadow boxing going on, you know, up until this time. Uh, you know, there were some conciliatory words being spoken from the Congress's side, you know, which makes it difficult to understand what has triggered this particular outburst. And this is Mamta Banerjee pulling out the big guns. Let's make no mistake. This is, you know, you can't, you, there's no explaining away these words. You know, go fight in Varanasi. Let's see if you can win. You are a migratory bird. This is a photo op. This is typical Mamta, angry Mamta. Well, I think this has been uh, brewing for a while, Shiv. It's not as if this happened uh, overnight. Yeah. Uh, the gloves are off. If you look at uh, Mamta Banerjee's statements over the last few weeks, she's been very critical of the way the Congress has been dealing with the India Alliance and indeed Rahul Gandhi's Bharat Jodo Yatra. So I'm not surprised mm. at all. Yes, the personal attack suggests that uh, what she was saying apparently privately has now gone public. 
she feels that the Congress had no reason to enter Bengal with its yatra in the in the belief that she is the dominant leader of the India Alliance. If at all the Congress had to come, they should have coordinated with her. So Mamta Banerjee has been waiting for an opportunity to get at the Congress. There has been a lot of, of course, bad blood in Bengal that stretches back several years. The belief that Rahul Gandhi, both in 2011, uh, sorry, in 2016 and 2021, tied up with the left and took on Mamta Banerjee, something she's never really forgiven him for. Hmm. She's had an equation with Sonia Gandhi, but no equation at all really with Rahul Gandhi. And I think some of those fault lines and the, the past uh, scars have come back to haunt uh, this relationship. Hmm. And that's why Mamta has chosen this moment at a moment when post the assembly election results, the India Alliance is really going nowhere. And the Congress also has been uh, struggling uh, to capture any kind of momentum. So Mamta is striking at a time when she believes that the Congress is weak and cannot really uh, hit back in any real meaningful manner, at least in Bengal. What, what does this do, Rajdi, for the India Alliance? I mean, functionally speaking, these are two parties that are still constituents of the India Alliance bloc, which has a certain structure. And they are two of the biggest constituents of the India Alliance. What happens to the Alliance now? Look, the Alliance, as I've been saying, has been uh, you know on a slippery slope to nowhere. And this has not just happened today. It's been happening over several weeks now. I think the uh, turning point shift for me was December 3rd mm. when the Congress lost the assembly election in the Hindi heartland. After that, the Congress seemed demoralized. Uh, the regional parties recognized that they felt that this uh, India alliance was not really going to cut ice and take on Mr. Modi. And therefore, they've decided to protect their own fortresses. Yeah. And any arrangement, uh, I you know, any po potential coalition will now be postponed depending on the number. So the whole momentum of the India Alliance, frankly, is well and truly gone. One final question before I let you go and go to Preeti. Uh, Rajdeep, uh, you know, I know that, uh, you know, uh, never say never in politics is a truism. Uh, you know, there's always a way back, no matter how, how deep the lines are drawn in the sand. But, you know, given the kind of uh, vitriol that we've seen Mamta Baraji uh, uh, express, and like you said, the gloves are off, do you see a way back from this before this election? Look, let, you know, let, let's also be uh, realistic. The fact is the Congress was never going to get more than five or six seats in Bengal yes. to fight an election. Mamta is the dominant player. Uh, at the moment, uh, uh, as a result, of this alliance being called off, uh, there are about another four or five seats where some damage could be caused. Beyond that, frankly, uh, Bengal today, uh, Shiv, is uh, Mamta versus the BJP. Mm. The Congress is very much now a secondary player. So in that sense, I don't think it makes any difference to the electoral right. arithmetic. It's the perception. Right. It's the chemistry. It's the optics that here is the India alliance imploding and thereby confirming what Mr. Modi has been saying, that this alliance was there only for convenience to take him on. And the moment uh, uh, the internal fissures come out into the open, uh, the alliance looks absolutely chaotic. And I think it's the perception uh, where the alliance will suffer as a result of this. Rajdeep, appreciate your time. Thank you very much for joining us uh, and uh, giving us your perspective on this developing story. Preeti, I'm going to come to you in just a moment. I just wanted to play out once again for our viewers before I go to Preeti what Mamta Banerjee has just said. Just listen into what she said. We've translated it for you. Bangla program ko test chhe. Amma ki Indian Alliance. Ek baat to information the debe. Omuk din theke program ko test ya chhi Bangla ei eh, route diye. Artho kichu chahi na? Amma ke kyu to bolay ni? Ame administration ei truthe shure chhi. Director ek ke kau ke kau ke phone kore bolay chhe. Amma the guide ta pass kore dao. Amma ke ek baare jono jana hi ni. Ame jante hi pade ni. তুমি বাংলা না বেঁচে ইউপি গেলে না কেন বুকের পটা থাকতো দেখতাম ইউপিতে এলাহাবাদে গিয়ে বিজেপি কে হারিয়ে এসো এখন আবার নতুন দেখছি নতুন করে ফটোশুট যারা কোনোদিন চায়ের দোকানে বসেইনি চা বানাতে জানেই না বাচ্চাদের আদর করেই নি শিশু বলতে কি বোঝেই না বিড়ি বাঁধতে জানেই না কোনোদিনও বিড়ির বদলে অন্য কিছু হয়তো খায় খেতেই পারে আমাদের গ্রামীণ লোকেরা অনেকে বিড়ি খায় এটা নিয়ে আমি বলছি না বাবা বসন্তের কোকিলরা চলে এসেছে
Preeti, you know, uh, Rahul Gandhi had said he has a very good personal equation with Mamta Banerjee. Jairam Ramesh repeatedly said, uh, you know, that we can't think of the alliance without Mamta Banerjee and the Trinamool. But after today, after these attacks from Mamta Banerjee, is there going to be a ferocious counter-attack from the Congress party? So far, they've been holding on to their guns. Well, you know, I, I think they're going to recalibrate, uh, Shiv, especially after this attack, because yeah. this is not on Adiranjan Chaudhary. This is not uh, an attack which seems to suggest that, oh, we are losing patience, hurry up on seat sharing. This is an out, you know, an all-out attack on Rahul Gandhi. Yes. Now, this is touching the Holy Grail. Now, what will the Congress do? How will the Congress react? I'm very sure that the Congress is coming up, uh, you know, with a strategy, because, you know, from here on, Shiv, what will happen with the India Alliance is something that the Congress will need to calibrate and do it very quickly. Because with what has happened today with Mamta Banerjee's attack on the Congress as well uh, on Rahul Gandhi, one thing is very clear that uh, the TMC, with at least what my sources are telling me right now, Shiv, is has decided that they've lost patience. For them, uh, you know, they kept every time I would, you know, talk to some of the leaders, they, mm. you know, continue to say that... Uh, you know, these were talks which started uh, last year in June. It's been, we gave them a deadline of 31st December. We are yes. waiting. We are being gracious. For the first time, uh, you know, the commentary I'm getting in, uh, you know, from some of the top leaders of the TMC is that Mamta Banerjee has now drawn that proverbial la uh, line in the sand. Uh, the TMC has lost patience. What will it tantamount to? I would think, number one, TMC is going to be watching uh, Congress's reaction. But... I would put my bets on one thing, Shiv, that the TMC is going to go it alone in this election in the state of West Bengal, which they've already made clear. Mm. I doubt now, especially after an attack like that, that you would see a Mamta Banerjee on the same stage as, say, a Rahul Gandhi or a big India Alliance rally or a big India Alliance campaign, which could be stitched together. I would think... Uh, Amanta Banerjee will stay put now in uh, the state of Bengal. She will fight it out with the Bharatiya Janata Party. You know, m many might suggest, Shiv, at this point of time, that the Congress really didn't have much, yeah, uh, you yeah. know, at stake in uh, West Bengal. It was anyway a fight between Mamta Banerjee and uh, the BJP. Correct. But the alliance has a lot to lose, and I will tell you why. Because if you do the math, Shiv, and this is pure arithmetic based on 2019, there are six seats uh, directly. If the Congress and the uh, TMC had come together, especially where the Muslim vote is concerned, they would have been able to galvanize it, and six seats is a long way, Shiv, mm. uh, you know, when mm. every seat will matter. True, the true. BJP won 18 the last time around. And for Mamta Banerjee, uh, those six seats uh, and the India Alliance would have been very important if they had fought together. So, when I, you know, I, I disagree with most people who would suggest and say that, you know, the India Alliance anyway really didn't have much in West Bengal. This is a big loss uh, to the India Alliance. Uh, but moving from here on, will Mamta, what happens? Because okay. there are seat sharing talks apparently going on uh, as per Rahul Gandhi in Tripura, in Meghalaya, in Assam, where the uh, left, uh, you know, wants to uh, expand its foot uh, the TMC wants to expand its footprint yeah, will yeah. those now talks also come to or not I guess so Mamta Banerjee I feel the TMC from here on is going to go all in in the state of West Bengal and will recalibrate post election on where it stands uh, you know politics is an amazing thing but I agree with you Preeti you know what what's what's left to talk about after an attack of this kind uh, you know what kind of recalibration is going to happen from the Congress which has actually been kind of nice to the Trinamool for the last few days we'll have to really wait and see because this one like Preeti said hits where it hurts uh, you know it's one thing to uh, attack the Congress party or something nebulous but to attack Rahul Gandhi directly is hitting the nerve center of the Congress party. Anirban and Preeti uh, thank you very much for